Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Voice of Freedom VFM story. The first analyst this morning is Dignes, this is Rebecca Abode. Dignes is Rebecca Abode, is um, a member of East Secular Zone to join the ministry since 1999. It is exactly 25 years this year. Please take your seats. God bless you, our dickness. Since 1979, 20 what? 1990, sorry, 1999. That's 20 something years ago. You came into the ministry. Please take the microphone. We want to know. What is it that God, looking at 99 till now, who you were, this journey so far, and what God has done for you? This voice of freedom story is a very, very good one. It's a good thing to say it. When I came here, somebody brought me here, and after she brought me, about two weeks she left. In that 1999 so i became helpless i didn't know that somebody is here that knows me so when i got home about a week later i refused to come to church so i just sat home like that so one day the woman just came mrs osak bobo and his and his wife the, the both of them came they came to my house they now told me that uh, they saw me in voice of freedom I said yes. He said they have not been seeing me again. I said it is true that I have not been coming. So she now said, why? I said I don't know why. The woman who brought me, the woman just left to another church. She told me that uh, there is another church again in Kobahi. They call her uh, Ngozi Church. So I now said I can't follow you down there. I like this place. And um, meanwhile, I just only they just only come to we just only packed into Benin. So my husband was saying that uh, I didn't know any place so that I should take time oh, that if I should, if I lost, he will not look for me. Oh. So, so he was telling me that I should stop oh, that I should not go to church. I said, ah, but that church, I love that church. I like to be there. Just like that, the pastor Sagobona came. The both of them came to my house. Every time they would just be coming, coming and coming. They would come and pray for me. So I now saw that uh, so these people they are encouraging me so i now pick up my faith again and i started coming with them so in the, along the line i lost my mother and i didn't know anybody in the church here these two people now followed me to my village so when i returned back from the village they also came again started encouraging me praying for me every day this woman will always come to my house she will not rest i would thought that she's the one the, the bishop of this place so she will start coming and coming and coming. Ah, and I said, okay. I started again. Now, so, now, now, look at it this way. Thank God for the follow-up. Yes. What has happened since then? So since I started, life? yes, since I started, this ministry is a, just like a savior to me. It's a savior for me. It saved my life. And not only that, it changed my life. I'm not only changing my life, it delivered me for, for so many things that I could have done. Can somebody and praise God this morning if you give me the hand? I'm not only changing my life, it made me up. It gave me courage of life. So, since I came here, things have changed. It's not like before again. Amen. I have confidence that I can live. I can stand. Amen. And I can talk to people. Amen. Before, I am a very shy person. I cannot look somebody at the face. I cannot talk. But you're looking at the look. world now. Yes. The whole world is no, listening yes. to you. <laughs> I cannot look at I can't I cannot look anybody at the face. I will be shy. I'm a very shy person. And I cannot talk. I will be when I want to talk, I will be talking left, left. I will not go straight to what I want to say. After I have talked the foolish one, before I will not go to the good one. <laughs> so this, okay. so the, 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 the things I see here, what I really what I really observe here. This place is a savior to me. It really made me up. 
ministry. And I have the problem to tell you people, if you are coming to this, to this ministry, as at now, if you know that you have not known God, that you have not even put your mind, you are still going to church, looking for where you will see, see a solution. My dear, you better put your confidence here. Put your mind in this place. And secondly, secondly, we read the book of uh, Second Chronicles chapter 2020. He said, when you believe in God, you shall be established. And not only that one, believe in the man of God that God has given to us. It's a light. I tell you the truth. It's a light. Even the secret battles that, we, that have that face us, we don't know how God is doing it. We got this, there are secret battles that God is always fighting. If I should tell you many, you, if I tell you, you won't believe it. Many secret battles. You have that, one minute yes, and thirty something minutes. That is still that, that, that God is fighting for us. So please, I beg every one of you that is still looking, looking, that is not that has not made up his mind, that is still looking for somewhere to go. Please make up your mind to stay here. God, this place you will have solution. There is light here. Our bishop is a big light. It's a big light to us. Believe in him, and God will really do do wonders in your life. God has told God so many things. He has done so much for me. He has done so many things that I cannot measure. Many things. Amen. In this place, I stop selling kaikai ogogoro cigarettes. This is where my business changed. Hmm. I didn't even did, know that did, I can did you hear that? Office. Did you hear how business of ogogoro and cigarette change? <laughs> Malakaba. I stop all those uh, markets. <laughs> and today, I'm not selling all those things again. And you, are, you are, and you are still making money. Yes, I'm still making money. Come on, give the Lord a clap offering.